Shalom, shalom, family, and welcome to our channel, Manna for Battle, where we literally eat spiritual food provided by Yahuwah. And if the food you're eating doesn't look right, doesn't smell right, or doesn't taste right, then most likely you're eating at the wrong table. Join us and eat the spiritual manna straight from Yahuwah that will nourish your earthly body, lead you to Yeshua, who will take you straight to the Heavenly Father and your Celestial One. Now let's prepare for battle. It is said the Bible is over 3,500 years old, so consider this. The deceiver has had a very long time to manipulate and twist the history and words of the Most High. In my opinion, one of the greatest manipulations is distorting the tribulation period found in Matthew chapter 24. This spirit has already been fulfilled and can be validated through the precepts and correlation of the witnesses, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Yet many remain blinded by traditional lies, precepts, and doctrines of men, or just plain fear of the truth. All praises to the Most High. And with that being said, let me share with you what we learned about the tribulation period from an extract revealed to our ancestor, the prophet Joseph Smith. Listen, family, listen. Verse 12. When you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet concerning the destruction of Jerusalem, stop and note, the abomination of desolation was a sign Jerusalem was about to be destroyed, not America, not the churches, or even us in this age. But let's continue. Verse 18, For in those days shall be great tribulation on the Jews and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, which was never sent upon Israel by God since the beginning of their kingdom, nor ever shall be sent again. Verse 19, All things which have befallen them are only the beginning of the sorrows which shall come upon them. Verse 20, and except those days be shortened, none of their flesh, their flesh, will be saved. But for the elect's sake, according to the covenant, those days shall be shortened. Verse 21. Behold these things I have spoken unto you concerning the Jews, concerning the Jews, concerning the Jews. And again, after the tribulation of those days, which shall come upon Jerusalem, if any man say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe him not. And this is just manna for thought. Shalom, family, and thank you.